everyone. Okay, so I'm going to make one last vlog for this holiday period. I'm going to stop fiddling with my clothes. Alright, um, again this is sort of random, but I thought I'd talk about two series in uh, young adult fantasy that I've really, really enjoyed over the last two, three years of reading. These two really stand out, and I, I love recommending them to people and lending these books to friends, because I feel that despite the success that they've both had, I, I still think they don't get near as much attention as they deserve, especially in Australia where we tend to just know a few titles really well and others just get left on the shelves. And so I like promoting them whenever I can. So, okay. The first is the Gemma Doyle trilogy by Libba Bray. And a friend sent the first in this series, which is A Great and Terrible Beauty. She sent that to me, which had been Christmas 2006. Along with the first two novels in the Twilight Saga, which weren't at that moment, at that stage, they weren't available in Australia, at least not readily available, and they certainly weren't hyped or well known. So I read those at the same time as starting this series, and they suffered in comparison because I really, really took to Libra Bray's writing and the characters she created. I love the Victorian period in general in literature and film and TV, um, and of course I've always enjoyed fantasy and supernatural, so the combination of the two was was really cool. Um, this is the second in the series. This is Rebel Angels. I'm not sure where my first one is or I would have got that down. And then the third is um, The Sweet Far Thing, which is on my shelf over there. Um, I love the characters in this world. Uh, Gemma Doyle obviously is our protagonist, but she has her three friends, um, Felicity and Pippa and Anne, who go through this journey with her, both at the boarding school and in the realms, which is the fantasy world that they enter. And it's a coming-of-age story, really, for the four of these girls. And I love that in their progression from from girls to women, essentially, that you see different social issues especially being addressed, um, both ones that were really pertinent to that particular time period and also things that are just relevant to to society today as well. And But it didn't feel heavy-handed, it didn't feel that Libba Ray was trying to force ideas or, or themes down your throat. I thought it was really well handled and I love that within that she wasn't afraid to create characters that were flawed, notably flawed, and had um, elements to the way that they inter interacted with one another and how they regarded themselves, things that just that aren't particularly attractive or desirable but are really essentially human and and honest and I admire, I admired that in reading it, um, and it was something that I felt I felt it was consistent throughout the three books. So, yeah, it's a trilogy I heartily recommend. I really do, and I I have to say I do love how it was con how it concluded. I again I admired that it wasn't necessarily a happy ending. That's not really a spoiler. I'll just say it wasn't necessarily a happy ending, um, but I think that things concluded nicely in that universe. And I really hope that a film is made because there was talk of it for a while, there was a script, a script writer attached and now it's sort of fallen through. So I do hope that it can get made. So as long as they do a good job and cast correctly, I would really love to see this series on film. So the Gemma Dollar Trilogy by Libba Bray. And I should also say that Libba Bray is just hilarious. Um, I love her, her blogs and everything. She's really cool. So. The second series is Melissa Mars' Wicked Lovely series. This is the first one. And it is about fae, fairies. Thus far there are four books. There's this one, then Ink Exchange, Fragile Eternity, and Radiant Shadows. And the fifth and final book in the series will be coming out next year. And I'm really excited about that because it's um, from Donya's perspective and I really like Don as a character. Again, um... Uh, this one I began by chance. A relative gave me the third book, Radiant Shadows. No, it's not Radiant Shadows. Fragile Eternity was given to me for Christmas, and this, my aunt didn't realise that it was part of a series, so I had to go out and purchase the rest of them to catch up. And, um, really, really enjoyed them. I like that it's, um, a series that isn't afraid to have teenagers who 
do teenagery things like you know, they drink and they have tattoos and body piercings and they swear. You know, I mean, it's not necessarily something that I myself might have <laughs> been doing when I was a teenager, but it's what, you know, it's what some teens do. And I'm glad that it, you know, natural, normal behaviour features in, in this book. Um, I had sort of given up on YA literature for a while there and I was just reading contemporary adult stuff so this it really got me back into it this year and uh, since then I've gotten a splurge of, whoa, a splurge of uh, getting fave books especially so I've had like the Need series and Maggie Steve Arter stuff and I've, and Glimmer Glass is up there too. Um, for a while I was getting all my <laughs> fae knowledge from reading Labyrinth fan fiction which I don't mean to diss because it's really enjoyable. But um, what I loved about this first book in particular was that um, Melissa Maher included like historical quotes on fairy lore, which was really cool, and it got you into the universe. Again, the characters are the main thing that I really love in this series. Um, in Ink Exchange in particular, my two favourite characters are featured, Neil and Ariel, and you learn all about the Dark Court. So, once again, we have... Uh, people that we're following their journey and they're flawed characters again and there's certainly dark ugly sides to them and their motives aren't always pure and their actions certainly aren't necessarily good um, or advisable um, but I think it just makes for a more interesting read and I really really enjoyed it so um, yeah, I'm just really looking forward to this series concluding and to see where it goes. So, yeah, so just two series I really recommend. Pick up the Gemma Doyle trilogy and the Wicked Lovely series. Melissa Ma and Libra Bray, thank you for your writing and for making me really appreciate what YA literature can do, especially in fantasy. So, yeah, thanks. And um, happy reading, everybody.